Your show, Brockmire, you play um, a baseball announcer, and this guy is sort of deplorable. He's a narcissist, and he's a uh, he's selfish, and he's got a bunch of you know, he's got a drug habit and he's an alcoholic, and yet I really like him, and I, I wonder, I don't even know why that works. I'm not sure either. Uh, it's an idea I had since I was a teenager and just got fascinated with this kind of announcer voice and what was funny about it, which is do guys always sound, if, do these guys always sound like this? Do they conduct their personal lives this way too? Right. And there are funny things about it, like you can say, they can say anything that they want if they, as long as they give the count afterwards, you know, like New York Phil Rizzuto would talk more about the Italian meal he had the night before than the baseball game. He just accepted it because he'd throw in the count. Right. Or you could even just go, I tell you folks, I am exhausted because last night was all about Filipino hookers as Johnson swings and misses at a fastball 0 and 1. So you could just pretty much slip anything you want in there. And it, that became a jumping off point for broad comedy, but then, you know, we developed these scripts and you have your producer hat on, and to me it was like, you're reading these scripts and these outlines, you're like, is it funny, is it real, does it make sense, and um, is the narrative, in, in, you know, working, and right. you sort of checking boxes, yes it does, and you have like 12 seconds to do everything, and it all was good, and you know, we got greenlit and great, and then as I started working on it as an actor, and not as a producer, and and not just thinking about it in terms of, well, this will be funny saying it this way, and that's funny for an announcer to do it. I was like, this is actually kind of dark and um, rather emotional. Right. And then, like, we hired Amanda Peet, who... God, she's uh, great. That's the other thing, Joel Cooper. I, we, we had the basic idea of the show, but all he said to Joel was, the writer was, you know, there probably should be a woman, maybe she owns the team, and he probably falls in love with her, I don't know. And then he came back with that love story you see in yeah. the thing, which is like probably the best part of the thing. Oh yeah. And Amanda Peet is so real and insists on being, you know, she wouldn't let me get away with anything. So she would be, you know, sometimes you do a take and, and somebody, like she was really upset. Like there were takes where I, I almost felt like, I think that if I keep talking this way, she's gonna punch me in the face because, you really? know, yeah. But I had to because that's my character and I can't break it. I can't go, all right, wait, I'm sorry. What did, you, what did you say? Let me just deal with you honestly for a second. I couldn't, you know, I can't do that. And there were takes where I would ask, like, was that, did I sound enough like myself? Because I was so more concerned with dealing with her honestly, emotionally, that I was like, was I still in character? Like, no, no, I'd still sound like Brockmire. <laughs>